Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I would like to cover up the top 10 cities with the worst urban planning. And I can already tell you, this might surprise you. And as always, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Number 10, Dubai, the Emirates. It might be surprising that this city makes the list as it is one of the fastest developing economies in the world. But Dubai ends up at number 10 on this list for many reasons. The increasing number of skyscrapers and residential estates that take up hundreds of acres simply don't get together. The entire layout of the city is connected by massive roadways leading from an enormous development to the next. Walking around the city is next to impossible because of this. And frankly, this city is lacking in shared public spaces. When it comes to suburbs and living spaces for its citizen, Dubai has implemented the worst practice of urbanism, the American-style suburbs. This is a pretty much a car-centric city, and people living there are mostly dependent on cars and individual traffic. Number 9. Atlanta, the United States Traffic doesn't get much worse than this city. And in fact, the traffic here is legendary. In the 1980s and 90s, there was a boom in Atlanta that caused a massive urban sprawl. And along with poorly situated highways, there seems to be no hope in terms of getting any better. One of the major problems here is the division of race and class that leads to clashes in what should be done to resolve the traffic problem. The state of Georgia also happens to be on one of the bottom five states in terms of highway spending per capita meaning they are not committed to any kind of game plan to fix the system. Unless something drastic happens in this city, you can expect that the poor design will continue for decades. Number 8. Boston, the United States Although this city is host of one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in all of the United States, Boston can be extremely difficult to navigate due to the layout of the streets. Navigating these maze-like streets can be overwhelming to both visitors and locals. And although the common misconception is that the streets were laid out on the top of the cow paths, the bitter truth is that not everything was going according to the plan. Yeah, but even despite that, the combination of random one-way streets and convoluted intersections pose significant safety issue for runners, pedestrians and cyclists. Fortunately, the Big D project has improved the city in many ways. It has cost an estimated $22 billion, an amount of debt that will not be paid off until approximately 2040. Although this city looks pretty, it certainly isn't easy to get around when it comes to car traffic. Number 7. Dhaka, Bangladesh. This capital city is truly a disaster from one urban dysfunction to another. Considering out of the city's 650 major intersections, only 60 of them have traffic lights and only some of them work. Millions of cars, bikes, buses, cows and motorcycles have to share the same road and driving here is downright dangerous. The awful transportation system means that many inhabitants are forced to live in the slums in the city, rather than commuting from outside, creating poor sanitation and water systems. This massive failure of infrastructure needs a total overhaul before it can begin to get better. Number 6. Sao Paulo, Brazil Over the course of the 20th century, this city transitioned from a small urban environment into a sprawling metropolis, leading to what is one of the most poorly designed cities in the world. The rich took over the center of the city and the poor were pushed out to the outskirts. The rich implemented a two-mile elevated highway that winds right through the heart of the city, narrowly missing residents' houses. This noisy eyesore replaced a lively neighborhood that was a cultural center of the city. The rich of the city don't even bother dealing with roads. Instead, they choose to get around by helicopter, making Sao Paulo the city with the world's largest fleet of helicopters per capita. Unfortunately, if you cannot afford a helicopter, you'll probably struggle to get around. Number 5. New Orleans, Louisiana, the United States Hurricane Katrina devastated this city a decade ago. Due to the system failing miserably, a system that was designed to protect the city from storm surges. The large majority of Greater New Orleans was flooded and many people lost lives and homes. Also, the fact that this city is built on thousands of feet of soft sand. Combine this with the awful traffic congestion and poor layout of roads, and you can understand why this city ranks number 5 in the most poorly designed cities in the world. Not even mentioning the fact that Louisiana is one of the poorest states in the United States. 
Number four, the city of Naypyidaw that I cannot pronounce in Myanmar. This fairly new capital of Myanmar has only been in existence since 2005 when the government decided so. Once land of empty fields has been turned into a super city, six times the size of New York. So now where's the problem? It happens to be located literally in the middle of nowhere with practically no residents. Government officials are pretty much the only people who choose to call this city home. And while the streets and roads should be bustling, with activity more often than not there is no one around number three brasilia brazil it is the second brazilian city on this list and while sao paulo suffers from a lack of design brasilia seems to suffer from too much design city of brasilia was created from a plan back in the 1950s which took inspiration from an airplane layout and included modernist concrete architecture meant to make this city hold for years but visually appealing to somebody this city has earned a reputation for being artificial it was also designed to house only half million inhabitants but over the years but over the years have become home to almost 3 million people in order to house all of them it was no longer about keeping the city beautiful and more about creating space for them number 2 jakarta indonesia it happens to be the country's capital and one of the most poorly designed cities in the world a combination that makes getting around here a disaster and every increasing number of car owners are to be blamed for the 400 hours a year that citizens spend in traffic as the infrastructure here falls into the hands of the government an average trip in the city takes about two hours leaving plenty of drivers frustrated all the time and number one is the Egypt's new capital the world's biggest flagpole in the world the largest military headquarters and the largest skyline with skyscrapers in the Middle East. Filled with fake French architecture for the rich and government officials, with their luxury houses in American-style suburbs. Which is, by the way, the worst concept of urbanism you could implement, but these smooth brain dictators don't really care. And just imagine all of this in a country with GDP per capita of around $3,600. Being so out of touch with the old historical city, it serves no other purpose than helping the dictator to establish and keep his power. Because massive protests would be hard to organize considering the sheer bigness of this mega project and the lack of accessibility from the highly populated center areas. Also, most of the money that could have been invested into fixing the awful traffic in the old crumbling city, they built a huge modernist railway for the rich out of the city, leaving behind the poorly situated old capital with all its middle class citizens. All right, people, so if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And as always, see you guys in the next one. Peace.